Hello, my friends. Uh, welcome to lesson number one, um, where we are doing functions. So I'd like us to just go through functions. Um, so firstly, we are going to explain what a function is. And therefore, we explain a function as the relationship between the domain and the range, where the domain is paired with the corresponding range. Let me write it down. A function is the relationship between the domain and the range, okay? And the range where the domain is paired with the corresponding range. So for us to have a function, the domain has to be paired with the corresponding range. So, but the words like domain, range, uh, we have to look into them to understand what a domain is and also what a range is. So let's start with the domain. The domain. Um, the domain is explained as all possible values of x. The domain, we're talking about all possible values of x. So when we are explaining uh, a domain, uh, we say that x is an element of real numbers. x is an element of real numbers where x cannot be and can never be equal to an asymptote. x can never be equal to an asymptote. Why? <laughs> Excuse me. The reason is that an asymptote an asymptote is a value, a value of x or y where the function is undefined. So, um, a function is a value of x or y where the function is undefined. So, now remember... So if we're saying a domain, a domain has to include all the possible values of x. So a value whereby when we take it and substitute it in the formula will give us something which is undefined. Then that value has to be, um, uh, I mean, does not have to be part of the domain because then it, it, it gives us a value which is undefined. So an example of that is an, is an asymptote. So hence why we say um, x cannot be equal to an asymptote when we are explaining what a domain is. And then for the range, the range, for the range, you will, you will then have to uh, put everything and then you replace x by y. So we say that for the domain, we talk of all possible values of y, okay? And then we say y is an element of real numbers where y cannot be equal to an asymptote. Forgive the handwriting. Forgive the handwriting. Y is an element of real numbers, and Y can never be equal to an asymptote. That is how we then explain um, the range. So now let's look at the examples before we go to the types of functions. Uh, if you've been watching this video until here, please make sure that you click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any other upcoming videos and you also help the channel to grow and we can improve um, the way we teach. So help us by subscribing on the channel. All right, 
So now we come on to explaining now. Uh, we come on to getting examples. Say, for instance, you are given something like this. Let's say you are looking for the domain. This is the graph that you are given. Your x-axis and y-axis. All right. So let's say you are given a function like this. Um, in later lessons, we'll explain uh, what is a decreasing and increasing function. Okay. Let me choose a different color, pen. Let's say this is your axis of symmetry where the graph cuts itself into two equal parts. And then you definitely have then your turning point there. Your turning point, let's say for X, let's say there you had uh, three. And then let's say here you had uh, negative 3. Let's say you had negative 3. So here, therefore, you have 3 and negative 3. That is your turning point. All right. So the domain for this graph, the domain for, for this graph, you look at the, the possible values of x. So you say x is an element of real numbers. Okay. So remember, this is let me choose um, this. Remember, this side, this side is negative. Negative side of x and this side is positive side of x. So this arrow, this arrow tells you that this graph, it goes up to infinity, up to infinity. Okay. So when you're explaining a domain, you say x is an element of real numbers, and then where x starts from where. So if it's infinity and not a number, x is an element from where. So um, it starts from where? Negative infinity. Starts from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. So when it's infinity, you are going to put a you are going to put a bracket like this but if it was a number we were going to put a square bracket okay so therefore the values the possible values of x the possible values of x will be between negative infinity this is negative infinity all the way to positive infinity that's where you are going to get the positive values of x but now when we're looking at the the range looking at the range now we we're looking at the the possible values of y definitely the first thing we we say is say y is an element of real numbers but looking at the graph now looking at the graph again let's do the little excuse me the little exercise that we did there we said this side is the positive side of y and this side is the negative side of y so this tells us that remember that on this graph remember that on this graph the value of y here is the same as the value of y there is the same value therefore the value of y there is the same as the value of y there the value of y there same value same value same value same value same value it only changes here because you have only one value. Therefore, when you are writing the range here, you will say, uh, y is an element from where? Where does it start? So normally, uh, sorry, let me not put this. So normally, it will be, you see this? It's a lesser to bigger. Lesser number to bigger number because remember, in a number line, in a number line, uh, lesser numbers are this side, bigger numbers are this side, right? So therefore, we say the the values of the values of y they start from where? Because this graph basically for the values of y is from here. They start from they start from the turning point. They start from the turning point 
all the way to infinity. So since well, the infinity here, this side, remember, is the positive side. So the infinity this side for y is, is where, where they go. So we say that uh, y is an element from, um, since it's a number, we're going to have a square bracket from where? From negative 3 all the way to where? To positive infinity. Then we put a smaller bracket. So this is how you then explain the domain and the range. We are still going to look at more questions where we are uh, looking at the domain and the range. But now I want you to do a little more exercises and in trying to understand what a domain is and what a range is. Okay, so now uh, we are going to hold it here for our first lesson and then lesson number two we are going to look at the types of functions and explain everything. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time.